Hi, this is Midwife Nell Tharp, and this is our video series from Midwife Workshops on suturing and uh, perineal repair for midwives. Today's focus is going to be on making models for simulation and uh, skill building for suturing skills. I'm going to switch to my other camera and then we'll go right ahead. So this is a flat model. It's made from fleece, foam, and taffeta. The red is a piece of felt that is used to represent a blood vessel, and you'll see more about that very shortly. So these are relatively simple models to make, um, and we will use them for most of our skill building exercises. The next model that we make is made out of a plain sponge. This is an auto sponge that has been cut and we've added some markings to indicate the anatomy. So this plane would be the vaginal mucosa. These dots represent the hymen. This plane is the perineum. You can see the uh, drawing here to represent the rectum. And then if you open the wound, you will see the muscles. Now the muscles can be modified so that you might add in a separate color for the bulbocavernosus muscle to differentiate it from the transverse perineal, which tends to run farther down the perineum. The value of this is on the flat model, we're going to work on just our skills. So how we hold instruments, how we manage the suture and things like that. So we can keep our focus on the skills and not be thinking about anatomy. Once we're ready to look at the anatomy and how to do an actual repair, it's nice to have a model that has three dimensions. I like the uh, foam models because they're inexpensive and you could make a number of different lacerations using the same model. Uh, I like the softest sponge possible. This one's a little bit rigid, uh, which makes it a little bit harder to open. Uh, and then it falls together uh, so that the wound is never really far apart. However, it's a good place to start. The next step, and one that people often omit, is to then take this one level further and put your model, and in this one I cut a wedge out so we would have an open wound. Um, and I adjust my light here, so hang on for a sec. There we go. That'll make it a little easier to see. But we put it inside a box. And my recommendation is that you tape this tongue to the edge of your table so your client would be at the edge of the bed or chair or um, other surface that they're on. And with this, you can practice your techniques working within the vagina. And this is an essential part of building your skills before you get into the clinical setting. So those are our three different uh, model types. I do make the three dimensional models out of uh, tissue as well. So I use beef tongue, I use beef roast, I use pork roast, I use turkey, um, turkey breasts. Uh, you can use other things like a box, um, a tissue box with a hole in it after all the tissues are out to practice your deep sutures uh, and other aspects of wound repair. So that's it for uh, showing you about these different models. Um, we invite you to submit your questions to midwifeworkshops at gmail.com and to subscribe to our YouTube page, uh, YouTube channel, excuse me there. Um, and if you subscribe, you'll get updates for new videos. So we look forward to working with you soon and uh, thanks for viewing.